What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we're proud to announce that LaunchBox for Android version 0.42 has been released. We got some fixes, improvements, and some new features, and in this video I want to go over some of these awesome new features. Now we definitely have a lot more planned for LaunchBox on Android, and we have a lot of stuff coming for this, so definitely stay tuned. But this is version 0.42, and let's go ahead and get started with it. So starting at the bottom of this changelog here, we have added support for FPSE64, another PS1 emulator you can get from Google Play. We've reduced the potential for crashes related to misbehaving game controllers. The arcade platform now supports the RetroArch Flycast core, so if you want to go through and use Flycast for Naomi and a Thomas Wave, it's totally possible now. Moving up the list a little bit, uh, from the Android game section inside of LaunchBox for Android, uh, in the past it would show basically all apps that you had installed. Now for this right here, I only have one native Android game installed, and that's Asphalt 9, so we'll go over to LaunchBox for Android. And like I mentioned in the past, when we went to the Android section, it would show a list of all of our apps. Now it's only going to show the games that developers mark as games for Android. Now this is definitely not a perfect solution because some developers mark their non-games as games, so they still might show up in here. But as you can see, from what I have right now on this tablet, I only got one native Android game in here, and that's because that's the only native Android game I have installed on this system. This has been added because in the past, I mean, it would show up as Netflix, Hulu, everything that I had installed here would be in that LaunchBox for Android, Android section. Now, when it comes to new features for this new version, 0.42, a lot of this has to do with filtering, nesting, and just really being able to easily get over to a game that you want to play. So games can now be filtered, platform, genre, developer, publisher, rating, play mode, region, series, and status. And this is actually really easy to do. Plus, we've added an all games option to each platform. So head back to LaunchBox for Android. And if I go into, let's just say uh, N64 here. Now we have an all game section along with our genres. And this can be customized to your liking. We'll go to all games. And as you can see through here, this will be obviously all of our games. We have our action, adventure, beat em up, casino, education, fighting, going to horror here for N64. Not many horror games here for N64, but we have Resident Evil 2 and Shadow Man. So it just makes it a lot easier to get to a genre you wanna play inside of one of these platforms. Now from the main screen, we've also added an option to set up your default root filter. Right out of the box, we're at our genres. We also have our all games over here. If we go into our options, Default Root Filter, Genres, Platforms, Developers, Publishers, Ratings, Play Mode, Regions, Series, all the way down the list. So right now, as you can see, it's just set to Platforms. We're going to set this as Genre. And now, when I start it up, we're going to have our Action Adventure. We'll have all of our genres here listed. And as you can see from the Options menu, there's a lot of different filters we can set this up with, but personally, I like setting it up with platforms. It just makes it a lot easier for me to navigate to what I want to play. But the option is now here to change that default root filter. Along with changing that default root filter, we also have the option to change our secondary root filter. Now what this is going to do is actually set up each platform. So default secondary filter. From here, it's set to genres. Let's go to ratings. We'll just do ratings. And if I go back into N64, you'll see that ratings are here now, instead of my genres. But uh, that's easily changeable here from options. We'll go to our default secondary filter, play modes. We'll go back. Now it's going to be set up as play modes. So we have cooperative, multiplayer, single player. Again, for this, personally, I'm a big fan of setting that as my genre. So that's what I'm going to leave it as. Another feature that we've added is something that I've been calling deep filtering, and this goes really, really deep. So if we go to N64, I'm just going to hold on this. We'll go to filter, and I'm going to filter genres. So we have our genres filtered, action, adventure, beat em up. I'm feeling like I want to play an action game, so we'll go in here. We can filter from here and keep going basically as deep as possible. So from the three dots in the top right hand corner, we'll go to filter. Let's go with play modes, cooperative, multiplayer, single player. We'll go with multiplayer. So here's all of my multiplayer games. And right now we're in N64 action multiplayer games. We'll go again by ratings, everyone, mature, teen. We'll go with an everyone game. 
So now we're getting pretty deep here and we can go even further. We'll go one more time here. Let's go by Publisher and we'll do Midway. And there we have it. So the way it's sitting right now, I filtered from N64 to Action to Play Mode to Rating and Publisher. So we're five steps deep here. And if I had any more games to filter, I could just keep going with it. But this was the last one there under Publisher. And we can just back all the way up. And this just makes it really easy to find exactly what you want to play with the latest version of LaunchBox for Android. Finally here for the new features, we've also added the option to change our media for any of these platforms. Now this goes for the platforms, genres, ratings, anything like that. Right now I'm in banner mode and uh, I think the artwork that's here looks really good. But if you want to change any of this, it's really easy to do. We're going to long press on Sega Genesis. I'm going to go ahead and change this media here. So we'll go to Edit Media. We can change the banner image, box image, clear logo image. So from the banner image, like I said, the one we have looks really good, but I've created one in MS Paint that I think looks even better. I'm going to browse to new JPEG image, and I've transferred this over to my tablet. I'm going to go to Downloads and my Sonic Copy. So now, once I back up, we have that new image that I created in MS Paint. And I can go through and customize all of this. So it works with the genres, and if I want to filter here from, let's say, Ratings, if I go to Everyone, Edit Media, and we can change this image or add an image because right now this doesn't have an image, as you saw. But yeah, as you saw, it's actually really easy to change this artwork out. We have those new nested filters. We have filters for basically everything here. And that's it for LaunchBox 0.42. Like I mentioned, we do have a lot more coming to LaunchBox for Android, so definitely stay tuned. We got some really awesome stuff in the pipeline. If you've not yet installed Android for LaunchBox, I will leave some links in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching. <laughs>